This is the plaintiff, Marvel Lewis. She says she thought about renting an apartment from the defendant, gave a deposit, but then the very next day changed her mind and now the sneaky, underhanded defendant won't refund her money. What the defendant's doing to her isn't right. She feels she has a pretty good case today and is suing for the return of the $3,600 she's owed. This is the defendant, Eli Mayer. He says the plaintiff signed all the proper documents, leases, and broker's fee papers, then changed her mind because she found another place. Everyone and anyone knows she's not due a refund, but she thinks she's above the law, thinks he did something wrong, which he knows he didn't, and owes nothing. He's accused of not treating a lady right. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff gave the defendant a deposit in an apartment, changed her mind very quickly, can't get her money back. But the defendant says, she signed the document, so tough. It's the case of the dotted line dilemma. Thank you, Douglas. Marva Lewis, you are suing Eli Mayor and Vista Holdings LLC and Sprint Realty Incorporated for $3,600 that you paid them and you want returned to you. Tell me what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Um, the last week in January, I met the defendant through a real estate broker lady. She called me and she said, because previously she known I've been looking for an apartment. So she called me and said, her boss has an apartment and would I be interested in looking at it? So I said, yes. So I went over and she showed it to me. Okay. So you, hi you, you went to see her in a professional basis yes. and said, I need an apartment. And then she showed you this apartment. Yes. Okay. So when we came back then, she said, um, you're going to meet my boss. So another day she called me and she set up for me to meet with Mr. Um, Eli. So then he's, he asked me how many people are going to be there. And he said um, $1,800 paid for the deposit. He said, if I want to move by the first. So I said, that's too rushy. I did the not The 1st of February. Yes. So I said, no. So he said, I said, like, by the 15th. She said, OK. Did he prorate the rent so you wouldn't have to pay one? No, thing? he said from the 15th to the 15th of yeah, March. Yeah, that's prorating. That's, yeah. okay. OK. I mean, right. You didn't have to. you right. Okay. You got a chance to move in later. Yeah, so then 1st of February, I came. He said, just bring the money so I know that you, will, you still want the apartment. And so I bring $2,800 on the 1st of February. Did you sign anything? No. Okay. So the, he told his assistant to give me a receipt. Okay. Do you have the receipt? Yes. May I see it? And on the second, I um, came back with the balance of 800. Okay. And he wasn't there, so he told his assistant to give me the lease. So on the first, you gave $2,800, and the note says broker's fee and deposit. How much was broker's fee and how much was deposit? Well, it's eighteen hundred dollars broker three and eighteen for the deposit. Okay, so you the next day you come back and you pay the other eight hundred. That's for the which is for the deposit. Right. Okay, and so now you've paid broker's fee and deposit. Yes. Okay, and then what happens? Then when the assistant gave me the receipt, I noticed she has non-refundable. So I asked her what's up with that, because well, the first receipt did not state non-refundable. We did not discuss anything about that. Well, why would you think it was refundable? A broker's fee and a deposit. Why would you think it was refundable? No, but I never gone to any business where you're going to write non-refundable on a receipt. Did you sign a lease? That day, the, the last the second, day. You signed yeah, a lease? Yeah, the second. OK. Do you have the lease? Yes. Let me see it. Do you have the lease? May I see? I need a copy. Thank you. All right, I got it. So you signed a lease that starts on February 15, 2016, and ends on February 14, 2017. All right, and there's supposed to be two other people. Are Egbert Charles or Sally Lewis here? Yes. Are those the two individuals who came with you? Yeah. All right, um, and then they did not sign it, but you did. Yes. Okay, and what happens? After you pay $3,600, what happens? I just feel bad I didn't trust him because I did not understand how he could um, tell her to put non-refundable on the $800 receipt. And I just had a bad feeling and said I don't trust him. Did you guys find a different place? No. Did yeah. they ever see the place? No, only one of them had so. Let me hear from you. The agent Kiki showed them a couple of apartments for some All of time. them or just her? Uh, for her and, and the and Did they the also go on, on apartment visits or no? Yes. Okay. 
they they went to see a couple of apartments and and Kiki works for you. Yes, Kiki is a advisor. She is working for the for the for the landlord and the broker. Uh, by this, uh, and she she acknowledged it. Of of acknowledging. She signed a broker's fee agreement. No, she she signed that that Kiki is working for the landlord and for not for the her. landlord. Got yes. It. Go on. And uh, she signed also she, that she will be responsible for one month's rent whenever we find her an apartment. Where do you want me to see the part about one month's rent? I mean, aside no. from the law, where, no, where this else? Is, this is here. This. On that document? Okay. Yes. I understand that I am, by signing below, I understand that I am responsible for the full broker's fee. This is the broker's fee, which is equivalent to one month's rent. Got right. that. What about the, the month's rent? Was there somewhere else besides the lease? Because okay. there doesn't need the, to be. Okay. I'm just the, curious. The one month rent is equal for one month rent. Oh, okay. Now I see. All right. Let me ask you a question. She signs a lease, so you believe that she's going to take the apartment, right? Uh, so when does she tell you she's not going to take it? And does she give you a reason why? So if you um, put a deposit down in an apartment, change your mind like that, can you get your money back? I honestly think you wouldn't be able to get your money back because you signed on a dotted line and that's pretty much a legal document. Well, what do you say, Daisy? No. Why? It's not refundable, probably. Is it refundable ever if you do it really quickly and you're not really changing the landlord's circumstances? I don't think so, but I have to think more about it. Oh, do think about it and get back to me, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Going inside the courtroom. When she came to the office, she loved the apartment, and I told, and I asked her who going to move in. She told me her husband and another sister. I told her, before we do any paperwork, let's make sure that your husband come and see the apartment, and he liked it. And she insisted that it's not necessary. Just her alone, it's sufficient to approve for him the apartment. I told her, no, he must have seen the apartment, and then you can, he can sign a lease. Kiki made an appointment with them, with her husband. He came, saw the apartment, they loved it. Why just the husband? What about the sister? And the sister. The sister saw the apartment with her. Did you both see the apartment? No. no. Either of you see the apartment? I see the apartment. Okay, you didn't see the apartment. No. All right, come on up, sister. What happened here? How come you guys didn't take the apartment? I didn't see the, um, get to see the apartment, but my sister said um, she don't need, um, need the apartment anymore because it's under construction. Moving in on the 50s, so she said she don't want the apartment because he recognized that the landlord is not the landlord that she really wanted to be. Folks, on what planet are you living that you think you can sign a lease, okay, and, you, and somehow that makes him a bad guy because he won't return the money? Come on. But you I guys have li You've been on this earth longer than 15 years, right? You understand. You're not children. I don't understand what really happened here. Why did you guys not move in together? What's the real reason? Sister, what's the real reason that you guys didn't move in together? Well, to, to make the monthly payment, we all have to agree with the payment. So to get the payment, we have to be on one term. And then if one in need... And your sister, your sister took a little liberty. Right. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Have a seat. I know that. It marvels me that you took it this far and actually filed a lawsuit. Because what makes you think that somehow you are a, not touched by the laws of contracts like everybody else is? You signed a contract. Why did you do that without her seeing the place and being all in on it? In fact, you shouldn't have signed anything unless everybody was signing something. But he, that's what he said before. But when I got there the second day, it's like he, the, he rushed me on with the no, no, nobody's to take. No, 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 no. Nobody's rushing. You're paying $800. You paid $2,800 yesterday. You're signing stuff. You're all excited about a new place. And then it turns out that one third of the decision makers wasn't in on it. You know, maybe, maybe you were a little precipitous. Right? Maybe, maybe you got a little over eager, but there's a consequence to that. You can't just turn around and bail. I mean, because there's a broker's fee involved that you signed saying you understood that. And can you I signed that, a lease, um, which means you I... broke the lease. When did you fill in the apartment? We're just filling up the apartment actually now. I made the exception for her because Kiki, she, she was a new agent. So I went alone and to agree. Which means that you lost two weeks of rent agreeing to rent to her to begin Correct. with. Yes. Oh, no. But you guys were under construction, so no. maybe the, yeah, you could we, we not, The apartment was beautiful, finished. Okay. Oh, uh, by what date? The, on the date of when she signed the lease. 
Because no. when a yeah, husband it doesn't matter. Came, it doesn't matter. What it had to be was beautiful and finished on the on the fifteenth, and you bailed before then. So it's not that the place wasn't ready for you. It's not that the place was under construction. It's exactly what I suspected, which is there's three decision makers, and one of them took the liberty to speak for everybody else. And there's a consequence to that. I'm sorry for you, but there's a consequence to that. Verdict for the defendant. That noise probably didn't sound too good to you as that gavel came down right there. What, what's, what's your reaction to this? Justice was not solved. Why not? And it's an unfortunate situation that they have big teeth like that ripping off poor people. That's yeah. all I have to say. What about the contract? I mean, you, you signed the lease, and what, what's the judge supposed to do about that? I didn't see the contract that he said I signed. The lease? The, I signed the lease, but I didn't see the contract the that he said, the other thing that he said I signed. Mm -hmm. Well, once you sign a lease with a non-refundable deposit, what, what's supposed to happen? What? Yeah? It's the same day that everything took place. I don't know what he's talking about. It's the same day. Okay. You got a better place to live now? Don't worry about that. It's okay. All right. Okay. Head right down. All right, she's pretty angry at you. How do you feel about this outcome? I feel the outcome was right, basically. You're in the legal, you, you, you have the law on your side, but maybe you could have given back our money. The, we lost them at one month rent. The agent received the, the, the already they spent the money already, mm. and she was happy for her renting the apartment. It was her first deal, and I couldn't do it. No. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, uh, deposits are not automatically uh, non-refundable, uh, but the landlord can withhold it if he can show, look, I gave up the opportunity uh, to rent to somebody else, and then you're on the hook. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.